And now, welcome to Hour 6 of the 55th Annual Christmas Daddy's Telethon. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Why? Santa Claus is coming to town. Gather round. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Little tin horns and little toy drums. Rudy toot toots and rubber tum tums. Santa Claus is coming to town. A curly hair dolls, a cuddle and coo. Elephants, boats, and kitty cars too. Santa Claus is coming to town. The kids and girls in Boyland will have a jubilee. They're gonna build a toy land down all around the Christmas tree. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. You're sleeping, and he knows when you're away. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Better watch. Out. You better, better not cry. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. You mean the big old guy with the long white beard? He's coming to town! Woo! Wonderful, wonderful. I am sure you recognize all three of these wonderful people, JC, Peter, and Melody Rose from C100, of course. And yeah. of course, they are part of our Bell Media family. And we all work so hard together this time of year to bring you Christmas Daddies. It's such an important, integral part of our, our company. We love it. We love you know helping out and doing this. What does it mean for you guys to be here with us today? Oh my God, it's so special because not only are we able to help out with something that at least uh, two of the three of us grew up watching, you know, Melody is a come from way, but she is so wonderful <laughs> in this role, and she's such a great, she actually lifts uh, Peter and I up to uh, feeling like we have to give some talent into this. But, Someone's uh, got to. <laughs> yes. And for the opportunity for us to have a chance to sing together and perform together is a wonderful thing. We'd save it for once a year, Christmas Day. I love Daddies. it. I love it. You work together, you sing together, and together everyone at Bell Media can, you know, bring Christmas Daddies to air. It's just lovely. I have to ask, who picks the song every year? Because you always have a wonderful I choice. <laughs> Melody. I'm from Ontario. So what's, what's Christmas Daddy's been like for you since you've started participating? Oh my gosh, it's been an honor to be a part of it and to see what goes into this and to see what goes in on throughout the whole day. It's amazing the work that goes into this and the amount of people that make it happen. You're absolutely right. And so much fun. And on that note, let's check in with Steve to see how much we've raised so far. Yes, indeed. It's just gone 4 o'clock. Hard to believe that the afternoon is wearing on as quickly as it is, but it is. So if you're a last-minute person, the last minutes are beginning right now. Don't wait any longer to give us a call at 844-400-1964. But here's how things are going as of 4 o'clock this afternoon. And uh, our total from outside the Maritimes, and I'm told this is mainly from Alberta and Ontario, it is... $8,662.42. Thank you to all the Maritimers watching us. Perhaps you're streaming us on atlantic.cdbnews.ca. All right, from Prince Edward Island, our total is now $8,125. Nice job, Jimmy and the gang. The show coming out of Moncton now to $31,845.72. Thank you, New Brunswick. In Cape Breton, the total is $60,000. $899.71. Nicely done, Cape Breton. 
And on the mainland, it's $135,355 for a grand total of $244,887.94. Thank you very much, everybody. Wow. So we're closing in on a quarter of a million dollars here at 4 o'clock. It's not too late to get involved, only two hours to go. And, of course, if you're interested in any of the auction items, we're going to be closing the auction at about 4.45. 4.45 to 5 o'clock is when all of the items close. Laura Anthony and Carmela Gillis are here. Let's quickly run down as many of these items as we can. Let's take it right from the top. And, Johnny, I think we're going to be starting with the Christmas tree and working our way back. John Campbell's on camera now. John, how are you doing? Okay. I'm doing, Steve. Happy to be here. Uh, glad, glad to have you. All right, okay, away we go. Uh, the wheat uh, Chris, Christmas tree. Wheaton's Christmas tree is uh, five hundred dollars with Kelly Ingram. Okay, and right beside it is the fireplace, the, the electric, electric fireplace. fireplace. Yeah. It's four hundred fifty dollars, and that's Jeff Smith. Okay, next. The Mini Mod Lewis House over here, JW. JW, uh, is, this is the is eight hundred dollars. Terry Lynn Conley. Isn't that lovely? We had the artist here earlier. This is from the Argyle. The next one is the Napa Dune buggy. And that's Angela Churchill, and it's twenty-three hundred. All right. Yeah, keep, keep going right, John. Right. <laughs> we're we're <laughs> directing the show right. as we go. <laughs> and the, the the John Deere tractor, uh, from uh, donated by Donnie Glant that just got here is uh, two hundred uh, two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. And that is from. Oh, sorry, uh, Terry Meisner. And across the newsroom, the two Jordans chairs, one is going to David Cooper for $800, and the other one is to Joel Campbell at $700. And again, those are still well below retail. They're closing in on around half price. So again, we're not having a half price sale here on Daddy's this year. We're hoping for full price. Thank <laughs> you for those bids, but keep the phones ringing at 844-400-1964. Keep going? Okay. Yeah, let's so keep going. So the, um, the Morris guitar donated by Miles Goodwin, it's uh, Andrew Sieben. For thirteen ninety nine. dollars $1,300. All right, so the last bidder has been outbid. We had a bid, I think, from thousand. the Steels of $1,000. Yeah. So you're going to need to call us and up the bid if you want to take Miles' guitar home. All right, Laura. And the Scrooge Darionette is uh, an anonymous for $300. All right, Ooh. anonymous for $300. Okay. That is, that's a very good likeness of Mr. Scrooge, actually. He's a, he's a, fan, he's a fine looking fellow. And the 54 foot sub. Is by Daddy's Little Elves for six hundred dollars. Who are sitting in the audience, looking yeah, right. very cute. And then we've got the Royal Nova Scotia International Tattoo Extravaganza, and that's going for twelve hundred dollars. And let me tell you too that that includes twenty-four tickets to the tattoo in the Wiser's box. That's a party just waiting to happen. And again, even at that price, it's still a good deal for you at eight four 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 hundred nineteen sixty-four. And this Ganong package, uh, six hundred dollars. And it's uh, Kelly Ingram right now. That is in the Nova Scotia package. Oh, you want to look in your Brunswick package. Oh, sorry. And the, uh, the Moncton one is going to, right, right now, uh, Kendall Corkum from Corkum Recycling for 250 All right. And Ellie Black's Nova Scotia Tartan Sock Monkey is going to Darren Hartland for $290. And again, you know, Ellie has just been inducted into the Order of Nova Scotia. She's one of the youngest members of the Order. She's a Canadian international performer. We're very, very proud of her, a world-class gymnast. That's a very, very nice bid, but you can do better, I'm sure, at 844-400-1964. And the Macintosh Vase and Rosewood Jewelry Box is uh, a bid for $200 for Terry Lynn Conley. All right, let's quickly talk about all the jerseys we have because we've got a nice array of jerseys, and then we're going to do the, the prize packages because we've got a couple of very nice prize packages. But let's start with the Halifax Mooseheads bid, which is leading in all the bidding. With $700. This and the bidder is? The bidder is Kevin Hubley. All right, Kevin Hubley, $700 on the Moosehead jersey. And again, these jerseys are all signed by your favorite players in the Q Monk League Monkton here in the Maritimes. The Moncton Wildcats is $180, and that's Jessica Cahoon. Jessica Cahoon. Thank you, Jessica. And the Charlottetown Islanders is Peter Mullins with $150. And the St. John Sea Dogs is Terry Weir with $250. The Acadie Bathurst Titans are uh, Camex Auto Performance, and that's $100. And 
The Halifax Hurricane Pack is $275. And again, don't forget, that includes tickets to the game. And this is a great uh, game, a great activity for your family in the break between Christmas and New Year's. It's the Hurricanes and the Cape Breton Islanders, Scotiabank Centre, Friday evening, December 28th. We've got a whole raft of tickets for you, and you get the basketball autographed and the jersey. And, Johnny, we also have a CTV jersey over there, which contains a number of signatures, including the signature of Dougie Gilmore, ex of the Leafs, and George Larocque of the Oilers, and... Uh, John Scott's on there, as is uh, Stefan Richet. And what is the bid? It's uh, Susan Parsons, and it's $200. Okay. John swinging back this way. Foreigner. This is date night for two. Halifax Scotiabank Center includes a nice room in the beautiful Cambridge Suites just up the hill and a dinner package as well in the Canvas Restaurant. It's a three-course dinner. Date night coming up on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, and our bidder is? You see that coming? It's uh, Gail Stevens, $600. And that brings us around to the Air Canada trip anywhere in North America. And these good people, but they're, they're quiet, but they're, they, they speak with, their, with their, the might of their generosity. Remind everybody who you are. I'm Kyle Bolivar, and this is my family, and we're from Bridgewater, uh, Nova Scotia, for Michelin. Michelin Tire, all the great employees there. You do some serious fundraising for Christmas Daddies. You're bidding on that trip for two anywhere in North America on Air Canada. You have a bit of, uh, I think, about 3300 bucks. We do. Is that all the money you have? Or? No, it's not. I was waiting for someone to... Outbid us, so you mean all I have to do is come over and ask you for more? Oh, you might get your own way. Well, could we have more? I mean, sure, we got a five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. All right, a five thousand. Could I ask you again? No, no. Maybe we'll maybe we'll come back. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, that's just tremendous. And you know, the employees of Michelin in Bridgewater are longtime supporters of Christmas Daddies, and we greatly appreciate it. So put five thousand dollars on the trip for two anywhere in North America, including Mexico, Hawaii, or the Caribbean. The Off to Moncton now, Laura Lyle. All right, this is a view of Katie Doiron's finished beautiful product. This is a painting that she actually painted for us live in studio today. She's a really a special addition to the telethon this year, and she's a local New Brunswick artist with a passion for unique, colorful, and inspiring designs. She's most kindly offered her talents for all seven hours of our telethon today to paint an original piece. So you can actually bid on this, and it will be auctioned off at the end of the show. So to do that, you call 1-844-400-1964. And, uh, yeah, so we need you guys to keep calling. That number keeps going up, but we want it to go even higher, so keep calling in. And uh, I'm going to send it over to Laura now. Thanks, Kate. I'm, uh, I'm here with my, with my new friend, Marilyn. Marilyn Murphy from the Rexton Lions Club. Tell me about uh, raising these funds today, or this we for do, Christmas Daddies. Uh, we do it for, through crafts and uh, bingo things and baskets that we sell. Anything that will bring money to help the children. Lots of different things. Yep. Lots yep. of different things. Yep. Well, we're so happy to uh, have you have done that. Um, why don't we flip over that uh, thing and let's have a look. Oh, we'll flip it upside down. There we go. And we've got $250. Woo! Woo! $250 from the Rexons Lions Club, and we so appreciate that. Thank you, Marilyn. All right, I am here with Grace Morgan, and Grace is, she's only 15 years old, super talented. She's from Minto, and she attends Minto High School. She's been singing since she was eight years old, and she doesn't just sing. She plays the guitar, the mandolin, the banjo, and the violin. Um, she performs with the New Brunswick Country Showcase, uh, the Pure Count Country Show in Fredericton, as well as many benefits, and today she is going to play Rockin' Little Christmas for us, so take it away. Last night, I told him what I want to make my Christmas right. And if I don't get it, I'm gonna be blue. I wanna rock a little Christmas with you. I don't want no tinker toys, don't wanna waste my time with any other boys. There's only one thing that I wanna do. I wanna rock a little Christmas with Christmas, rock a little Christmas with you. And if I get my wishes, it's gonna be delicious. Stack them full of love for two. Well, I've been a good girl all year, and I deserve a little Christmas cheer. I want your arms around me the whole night through. I want to rock a little Christmas with you. Rock, rock, rock So tell me, baby, what's it gonna be? Where 
am I gonna spend my Christmas Eve? Will I be merry or will I be blue? I want a rockin' little Christmas with you. I want a rockin' little Christmas, rockin' little Christmas, rockin' little Christmas with you. want a rockin' little Christmas, rockin' little Christmas, rockin' little Christmas with you. That was incredible. What a great performance. Uh, right next to me, I have uh, Marlene McGaugh from uh, QP. Um, tell us about why you wanted to, uh, you know, make this donation to Christmas Daddies. Well, uh, I'm local QP 2745. We're the uh, st uh, student support services for the province of New Brunswick. Um, so we're very involved with children. The majority of our members actually work in the schools. So we know the needs, uh, especially this time of year. So we would like to make a nice donation. We also want to challenge the rest of the QPs in the province to match our donation or do whatever they can. All right, sounds good. So let's uh, flip that over and see what we raised. Wow, $1,000. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Okay. All right, and we're going back to Halifax. Thank you so much for that, Laura. I can't wait for you to hear the next band coming up right behind me. Their name is Triple Trouble, and they consist of three multi-talented musicians from southwestern Nova Scotia, from my neck of the woods. Abby Morton, Adria Owen, and Parker Dayon attend Ecole Secondaire de Paramba in Tusket and Drumlin Heights Consolidated in Argyle. Today, they will perform That's What Christmas Means to Me. Take it away.
We have had such great entertainment here on Christmas Daddies. That was triple trouble. And we may be seeing them again a little bit later in a little special appearance of a different kind. So stay tuned for that here on the Christmas Daddies Telethon. You know, everyone here at Christmas Daddies is so appreciative of the donors who raise funds to help children throughout the Maritimes because without donors, there would be no giving. They're so important. So right now, we're going to hear Sherry's story and what inspires her to raise funds for Christmas Daddies. Christmas Daddies in the past helped me over 30 years ago when I was a single parent with a little girl. They gave my daughter a gift and me a food box for Christmas. So getting that extra gift was very special. It was the simple act of kindness. When you really need something, someone was there. I like to help Christmas Daddies uh, because I'm in a better position now. I have a successful company, and I never did forget the kindness that was given to me, and I'd like to pay that back to the community. For the month of November, we, do we donated a dollar from every scarf sold. We had an online auction for monkeys and more so that another child benefits. Nobody should be without a present at Christmas. Thank you so much, Sherry, just one of the people who donate their time and funds to Christmas Daddies. And, you know, Christmas Daddies has been around for 55 years, so you really hear the wonderful stories uh, so often of people who were helped by Christmas Daddies who then turn around and give back when circumstances change for them. And it really shows that this can really build a brighter future for people when they're children and then moving on forward. It's just a wonderful, inspiring thing that happens here at Christmas Daddies. Okay, well, we're going to go now to one of the other locations that is helping give back as part of this telecast and to everybody's buddy Cyril Lunny. Well this morning we've dropped by Bell Alliant and I'm joined by Paul Mann and uh, Paul why is it so important for you and your colleagues here at Bell Alliant to be here today? Well first thanks for thanks for joining us Cyril. Atlanta Canada is not just a place we work and do business uh, it's a place where we live. Our families are here uh, we call it home. We've been involved in the telethon for over 18 years now. And uh, for us, it really kicks off the Christmas season. And our employees and our team members really understand the impact that we have and this telethon has uh, for families right across the region. So it's, uh, it's something that's very important for us to be part of. So how many volunteers do you have here today, Paul? Well, across the region, we have 150 or so. Now, these are our employees. They are retirees. For Bell Alliant, we have our partners, of course, at Bell Media on both sides of the camera that are important pieces to the puzzle. And, uh, you know, you got any advice out there for those folks that are going to call today, they're going to make a donation to Christmas Daddies, anything to help them get through that process? Well, absolutely. First of all, no donation is too small. Um, you have an opportunity today to, through this telethon, to make somebody's Christmas, make somebody's holiday season better. And if you take pause on that, it's an incredible opportunity that I'm asking people to seize. Make us busy. We've got a lot of smiling faces around today, eager to take your calls. And we wish everybody a Merry Christmas. All right. Well, listen, Paul, thank you on uh, behalf of everyone at Bell Media. And uh, thank all the folks at uh, Bell Line. We really appreciate everything you're doing. Thanks so much. All right. All right, hello everyone. I'm Caleb Mitchell, of course, the meteorologist here at CTV Atlantic. This is my first Christmas daddy, so you've got the, the rookie making his appearance out here on the floor. This is my young son, Locke. Can you say hi, Locke? <coughs> nice little camera shy. Don't worry, he'll get over that. <laughs> and of course, out here to help out with the presentations for some of the awards and uh, or some of the donations for Christmas daddies this year. I'm just going to put young Locke down here a little bit. Maybe mom will come by and scoop him up. <laughs> And I think we're leading off with a reminder that Karen's Cookies and Treats at Alderney Landing's Farm Mar Farmer's Market is carrying on their yearly tradition of selling gingerbread to raise funds for Christmas daddies. And this is going to be an ongoing every Saturday until the end of the year. So we want to thank Karen's Cookies and Treats so much for the generosity. Thanks so much, Kaylin. So great to have Kaylin Mitchell here for his very first Christmas Daddies. Nothing puts you in the Christmas spirit like Christmas Daddies. Now, as a former brownie myself, I'm very proud to have two youngsters here. One is a beaver scout. That would be Casey Kloss. Hi, Casey. How are you? 
Good. Good, good. And also Cub Scout Naomi Clifford. How are you, Naomi? I'm good, thanks. Good. How do you guys like being in Scouts and Beavers? What do you like about it? Well, I like, I don't know, I just like being a cub. <laughs> you just like everything about it. What's your favorite badge here? Do you have one? I like the naturalist badge. The naturalist badge is a good one to get, right? Now, uh, Casey, what about you? What do you like about being a beaver scout? I like, I like camping. <laughs> That's a good choice. Camping is always good. And, you know, Beaver Scouts and Cub Scouts, a great way to introduce kids to the joys of the outdoors and adventuring and also giving back. Now, these two guys are with the first Dartmouth Scouting Group. So you guys had an event to raise money for Christmas Daddies. Naomi, what did you do? We had a Pancake Breakfast Foundation. My favorite. I love pancakes. Now, uh, Casey, how many pancakes did you eat? You can tell us. I won't tell anybody. Um... I think it was like two or three? Two or three, or four, or five or six. No, I d no, no, I don't know, you're a growing board. <laughs> two or three, he insists it was two or three. Well, you guys sold a lot of pancakes, didn't you? So let's take a look at how much money was raised with the first Dartmouth Scouting Group and their Pancake Breakfast, which is an annual affair. Look at that number, $768.45. That's a lot of pancakes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> two, pan two pancake Casey there. I, I know it was two pancakes. It's okay. Okay, let's go to Kaylin. <laughs> Thank you so much, Heidi. And we're back with the group Story to Tell. And I'm actually just going to get them to introduce themselves. I'm Brody. I'm Dan. And I'm Logan. All right, so we got Brody, da uh, Dan, and Logan, right? Yep. Excellent. And can you guys tell us a little bit about why it was important for you to donate to Christmas Daddies? Uh, well, Christmas Daddies goes really well with what we promote and preach as a band. You know, we love all ages music and we try and promote all ages music in the city, all over the world. And, um, you know, helping kids in the Maritimes goes hand in hand with that. And what did you do this year to raise funds for Christmas Daddies? We hosted our second annual uh, All I Want for Christmas is a Punk Rock Show, um, all ages event. Uh, so we asked a minimum donation at the door. Uh, there was a, a story to tell, local band June Body, Daryl Cameron, and Duck Feet from Toronto. They came together and we put on the show for the charity. And how'd the show go? Went really well. The weather was a little nasty, uh, but we still, you know, everyone came together and supported and it was a lot of fun. The weather was a little nasty. I've been hearing that one a lot lately over the last little month. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to put this off any further. Let's get to that big reveal. So here we go. Okay. You ready? <laughs> and look at that. That is $250. And that is, again, to Christmas Daddies. We want to thank Story to Tell so much. Thank you for all the hard work that you did on putting on the show. No problem. Thank you very much. Thanks. We'll see you next year. Here we go. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, I promised you triple trouble again, and here they are. Hey, great performance, by the way, Parker. Thank you. Yeah, fantastic. Tell me how the band got together. I love the name Triple Trouble, by the way. It's like triple threat all the way. So how did you guys form the band? Well, we all went to the same school, and we can all play the same instruments and everything, so yeah. we just said we want to get together, and we just started playing. Let's make a band. Why not? You guys sound awesome rocking it. How'd you come up with the name? Because you all look too nice to be trouble. Um, I don't know. We just <laughs> said there's three of us and we're all trouble, I guess. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, I think the good kind, anyway. Uh, you know, it's so wonderful to see you guys here giving both uh, your talents in music for the telethon because we love having you know, great musicians and up-and-coming musicians here on the show, so we're so glad you could perform. How did you feel during your performance? A um, bit scared, honestly. <laughs> Well, you couldn't tell at all. You guys were great. No need to be scared. Hopefully you'll do this again. Yeah, probably. Yeah, exactly. Now, not only did you give the, uh, the gift of your time and talents, but you've also raised money for Christmas Daddy. So why? Why was that important to you? Because we felt like it was a good cost to donate to, and we just wanted to spread some Christmas cheer. Which is so wonderful to do, and especially considering you guys are all young and the funds from Christmas Daddies go to young people, they go to children um, who can, you know, someday grow up and be in an awesome band like you guys. So there you go, you're setting the stage for that. So let's see, well actually before we see how much you raised, let's ask you how you raised it. What did you do? 
Uh, it was a personal donation by our parents and us. Yeah, so kind of a family contribution. Okay, so let's see Triple Trouble and their family raised. Turn that around. Yeah, $220 for Christmas Daddies, which is fantastic. Thank you so much, you guys. It's so great to have you here. Thank you. I look forward to many more performances of Triple Trouble on Christmas Daddies. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good to me. All right, let's go over to Steve. All right, we're over here. Heidi, take a look at this ring being modeled by Carmela Gillis and the bid now from Edward Corkum on this ring, $1,750. That's nearly full value on a beautiful ring from English Jewelers being modeled by Carmela. And how about this, this piece of beautiful bling, which is the Pandora bracelet. Look at that. And it, of course, is accompanied by this beautiful watch in this box right down here, John. Ah! Oh, the watch. Where's what, the watch? Where did the, the watch? Wa where's the watch? Uh-oh. only kept an eye on the watch. No, sorry. Where's the watch? Where's the... Uh-oh. This, this is the watch. This is the men's... You are incorrigible. You're incorrigible. You're pocketing the item. Put the item, put the item back. This, <laughs> this is the his and hers bling. It's the Pandora bracelet and the men's watch donated by O'Regan's. And what is the bid on uh, on the bling package? $650. 650 so there's still From a lot of room. family campers. And we want to tell you that the bids yeah. are going to be closing at 445 so get on the phone now, 844-400-1964. We've also had a lot of bidding on the trip for two anywhere in North America with Air Canada, including Mexico, Caribbean, and Hawaii. And right now the bid is $5,400 from our friends at Michelin. Woo. That, by the way, includes a gift card, a $500 gift card from Visa. The Foreigner date night. Now, where are we? Are we going to Foreigner here? Uh, it's, uh, it's two tickets to Foreigner. These are nice seats, a nice meal, a nice uh, room night downtown. It's a date just waiting to happen. And what's the current bid on the I Foreigner package? Just a second. All right, we've got to find okay. them because the bids are coming fast and furious here. No, we'll, come, we'll come back to it in a minute. The Wheaton's Christmas Tree, $600 from PMC Roofing. The Electric Fireplace, $450 from Jeff Smith. The no. Mini Mod Lewis House Folk Art, $800 from Terry Lynn yes, Connolly. The, the Napa Dune Buggy, Angela Churchill, $2,300. The John Deere Lawn Tractor, Terry Meisner, is in at $2,250. The Chairs from Jordan's at eight and eight fifty. The Miles Goodwin guitar, listen to this, we've just had the bid up to $1,500 from David and Ann Steele. Thank you very much. Our friend Murray from All Star Landscaping has $350 on the Scrooge Darionette. And he's also bidding on my tie. I think it's around $350 as well. 54 feet of subway, the Daddy's Little Elves in at $600. The tattoo package, listen to this from Bob and Mabel Stevens. They've upped their bid to $1,200 yeah. for the tattoo. Thanks very much. Kelly Ingram and Corkum Recycling have the Ganong packages for New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. The Ellie Black Sock Monkey, Darren Hartland, has upped the bid to $290. The Beautiful Apple Vase and the Rosewood Jewel Box, $300 bid from Angela Churchill. The uh, Bling we mentioned, the Date Night with Foreigner, $600 for Gail Stevens Morell. The Christmas Quilt, the bid is $800 from International Pre-Owned Barcode. The Jerseys, the CTV Jersey, $300. That is from Sean Gillis. One of our sales reps. One of our sales reps in St. John. Our other jerseys, the Halifax Mooseheads from K. Hubley Woodworking, $700. Moncton Wildcats, Jessica Cahoon, 180 The Islanders from Peter Mullins at 150 The Sea Dogs, Sean Gillis at 300 Ackety Bathers, John Weeks at 200 Halifax Hurricanes Fan Pack, 275 Daniel Sancour. The Big League's big bid on the Navy Divers Helmet is $10,000. Halifax Sign Group with 1000 on the schooner. Bids are closing. At quarter to five, let's get over to Liz Rigney now. Liz. Everybody. Here we go. Merry Christmas, everyone.
Liz Rigney, everybody. We meet again. Beautiful. I love that song. Did you hear the Jingle Bell solo we had in Amazing. there? Amazing. Like, Amazing. Doesn't and this happen. band. Oh. We can't thank them enough. The Halifax Music Co-op, thank you so much for joining us today. Just stunning and really oh rocking the house. Rocking the house. They're holding it down. I've never seen the newsroom rocking like this before. <laughs> now, Liz, we, the clock is ticking for people oh. to donate. So okay. what can we tell them? They super have to donate. Mm -hmm. Because really, if you think about it, you might not see people in your community that are in need, but they're in every community all across our region. And you have the ability to make their Christmas a little brighter. Absolutely. Yeah. Well said. And on that note, Liz, let's throw it to Steve. Okay. You know, Liz and Suzette, in the movies, the old cowboy movies, you could always tell the good guy because he was wearing a white hat and the bad guy was wearing a black hat. Well, here's the guy wearing the black hat. One trade hats, Donnie. And here's the guy wearing the white hat. Yeah, I think I'll hang on. That's just a smart thing to do, Donnie. I think the white hat suits you. I got a lot of hair underneath it. You, you, you do, which is more than we can say for him. Where'd my hair go? Him, uh, okay. my hair yeah, go? Yeah, I don't know. Hair today, gone tomorrow. Yeah. Donnie Gallant, Donnie Gallant Enterprises. Tenth year, I believe, that you've donated a lot. I believe track. it's ten. Yeah, it's great. It's why, great. Why, Donnie? Why? why, do you, why because do you do uh, it's just something you want to hang to and be involved in and be around all kinds of nice people like you. And... Uh, you know, I just want to see everybody else that I know in business. Please make a pledge today. This is the day, and uh, it'll be uh, well worthwhile. You know, it'll be a great Christmas for you. you your you've thought. also been a large part of the fundraising at Big Leagues Pub over the years. I know that's where we first met yeah, back in the, yeah. oh. the dawn of time, and uh -huh. you've been involved with them as well. But what is it about Christmas Daddies particularly, Donnie? I mean, there are a lot of places to put your money. Well, it's just uh, I, I get involved mainly with the parade and uh, Roxanne trying to help out there, and it just seemed to escalate it from one to the other, and uh, it's just uh, it, it's become fun. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> it is fun. Listen, we can't uh, thank you enough for oh, all you do. Welcome, and in addition to donating this lawn tractor, and by the way, we're over value on the lawn tractor I this hope. year. I we hope. are over value <laughs> on it. But in addition to that, Donnie's also a very generous donor, and he buys all kinds of auction items out at the Big Leagues <laughs> Pub. And uh, let me just put in a plug for Big Leagues. They do an auction in-house over at the Pub in Coal Harbor, and it's generally the week before the Daddy Show. Circle it on your calendar for next year because it's a great community-based fundraiser. Mark LaRue and the whole LaRue family, you guys are involved. And uh, the latter family in Coal Harbor, yep. they really make it happen. They and there's sure a lot do. of great things sure happen do. there. So we thank you. We thank all of them. And again, we're going to be closing all of the auction bids in approximately 10 minutes from now. I've got... Um, we got Okay, so nine minutes from now. So make your best bids. If you want to double-check any of the items, they are all online at uh, christmasdaddies.org. There is a lot of last-minute bidding going on. The bids will close at 445. Take a look at those chairs from Jordan's. They're still around half price. This is not to seem ungrateful or ingrateful for the wonderful donations that are being made. But, again, we're not trying to have a fire sale here. We're actually trying to get full value or more for all of these great items. And a lot of the bidders here in studio, of course, have already helped us with that. So 844 One other thing we want to mention, and that is that, you know, Christmas Daddies is very proud of the fact that uh, every year the amount of money that is pledged here during the broadcast is exceeded when it comes to honoring the pledges at Royal Banks and through your credit cards and so on. But for many, many years, we're very very pleased to tell you that the numbers you see here on the screen generally will be the low end of what actually happens. And that is because so many people in the Maritimes go out and make a donation. They'll visit the Royal Bank next week. They'll go online. They'll make a pledge. We thank you for it. It makes the Maritimes unique probably in Canada. It makes the Christmas Daddies broadcast unique among telethons. And we thank you for that. We thank you for the kids you've helped. Tens of thousands since 1960. Here is another tradition I believe I hear, the familiar sound of Her Majesty's Canadian Fleet Diving Unit, led by Amanda Debison coming into the studio. They have been running all day. Here they are in the bright yellow. This is a great tradition, and this is a part of that magical relationship between the men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces and the people in the Halifax area. This is the fleet diving unit. These are some serious runners. They look, they look good for people who've been out running all day in the, in the bright yellow. It sure is, this is something we look forward to here. Every, come on in everybody, come on, oh, come on in here. Let's give it up for the fleet diving unit. Come on as they come into the studio here. Just terrific. And uh, led by uh, CTV's, come on in, come, uh, Amanda Debison. 
Come on over here, Amanda. Let's have a hand for Amanda Debison. Come on in here. You've done a great job today. Oh, thank you so much. I don't think my knee has done such a great job today, well, though. I, I, it's been great. I know you've had a great day on the road. Who's, are you speaking for the group today, or who's speaking yes, for the group? Sir, yeah. You are. I am leading team Mike Laffin. How are you? Not too bad. You tired? No, never tired. Never? That's, <laughs> how can you tell they're divers? They're never tired. Listen, I know you have a few things you want to say, a few people you want to thank before you get around yes, to the money. Yes, I do. I'd like to uh, thank uh, John's Lunch, uh, Pleasant Street Diner, uh, Bedford Highway, McDonald's, Forest Hills, Tim Hortons, uh, Nine Locks Brewery, who uh, uh, Leo. What did they give you? Uh, just a little bit of beverages. <laughs> uh, Halifax Regional Police, especially uh, Ian Flewelling for uh, putting up with us in uh, last minute uh, doing some scheduling for us. Uh, C100, uh, CTV, of course, and our uh, bus driver, Andy. Who up? And uh, I'd like to thank uh, the hard work from our dive unit and family and friends for uh, putting forth such a good effort today and uh, working really hard to raise uh, just before we Just before we talk about that, I want to talk about the Navy Diver's Helmet, which is something we've been auctioning off on this show, I don't know how many years, about 30, 30, 31 years. We did the math. The Navy Diver's Helmet, which was donated by Fleet Diving Unit to Christmas Daddies, has raised pretty close, not quite, but pretty close to a million dollars. Pretty close to a million dollars. That's pretty special. You've, you've done a great job. These are, these are some great people. And you know, nothing really happens when it comes to fundraising in the Halifax area without the men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces, their families, their neighbors, and their friends. You are the backbone of our community. We love you guys. And we love your cheer and your chat before you leave. But let's talk first of all about the money. All right. Have we done the big reveal? We have done the big review, and we have raised $13,000 this year. Thirteen thousand dollars from the fleet diving unit. The run through the streets of Halifax. This uh, tremendous relationship continues, but it's not over until we hear your cheer, you hear your chant. So, oh yes, yes indeed. We have the tradition of this shirt probably doesn't fit me anymore. I will, I'll get this shirt on. But let's. Wow, well look, thank you very much. This, sorry, do you want to repeat that because I was, I was off mic when you, what, tell us about the plaque. Uh, so the plaques was made by our engineers at the uh, Fleet Dive Unit. Uh, we've given to all our major sponsors as well as uh, CTV for uh, all your hard work that you've done in the past for Christmas wow. Daddies. Wow, well thank, thank you, you very much. much on behalf of everybody here. That is just tremendous. We'll hang that with a great deal of pride. Thank you very much. Perfect. All right, let's get to the okay, business of that, to uh, that famous chant, that famous cheer. Way to go. Without further ado, kicking it off for everybody looking in. Walking! Walking on the ocean floor, walking through my wee trap door, walking through my wee trap door, 50 pounds of standard lead, 50 pounds of standard lead, one copper helmet on my head, one copper helmet on my head, that's a wish that I was dead, that's a wish that I was dead, because booze don't mix with standard lead, because booze don't mix with standard lead. Ladies and gentlemen, the men and women of Her Majesty's Canadian Fleet Diving Unit, it's a Christmas daddy's tradition. It's off to Moncton now. All right, so I've got, uh, I've got a helper here for this uh, latest check presentation. This is from Walmart. Uh, this is Trinity. Trinity, uh, why don't you flip that over for us and let's see what we've got. Now, how much do we have? $5,000. $5,000. Thank you so much. Thank you, Trinity. All right, before I introduce our next guest, we're going to take one last look at this painting by Katie Joiron. Amazing. She did this in our studio today, as you can see, lots of colors. We need you to get the bids in because they are closing soon at 5 o'clock. So one last look at this painting before we uh, announce who gets to take this painting home. But now I'm going to uh, introduce you to the Junior Jills, and I'm here with Hannah. So Hannah, tell me who's with you today. Uh, Miriam Hicks, Sam Terrio, and Meredith Hicks on the piano. So they're ranging from 13 to 17. These dynamic teenagers have been performing together for five years now. They're based in Sackville and are instructed by Stacey Reed. So get ready to be entertained because they're going to do a medley for us today of sleigh bells and snowflake breakdown. So ladies, I'll let you take it away. Thank you. 
Well, I am thrilled to say we have so many people from our Bell Media family performing here on Christmas Daddies today. Amateur Alex from Virgin 101.3 is here with his dad's band to perform an Alabama classic. I just love it. Christmas in Dixie. Take it away. By now in New York City There's snow on the ground And out in California The sun shines falling down And maybe down in Memphis Georgia, there's peace on earth tonight. Christmas in Dixie, snowing in the pine. Merry Christmas from Dixie to everyone tonight. It's windy in Chicago The kids are out of school There's magic in Motown The city's on the move In Jackson, Mississippi To Charlotte, Caroline, and all across the nation, it's the peaceful Christmas time. Christmas in Dixie, and snowing in the pine. Merry Christmas from Dixie to everyone tonight. And from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Beautiful. You gave Thank me goosebumps. That was lovely, lovely, lovely. And it is so nice to have you all here today. Thank you so much for joining us. And Alex, thank you for coming here. I know this is a bit different than being at radio, being yeah, in the newsroom. Totally. I had no idea you were a drummer. Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, it's such a good cause, and thank you for the opportunity playing. It's first time playing with my dad on live TV oh, and my brother, which is an ah, honor. Ah, that's So, excellent. yeah, it was great. It's so nice that everyone here at Bell Media can just get together. It doesn't matter if you're radio. Radio, TV, editorial, it does, it's, we're all here for the same cause, doing the same thing, working to bring the same money to maritime children. So thank you so much for both of you for coming here. Any last message to our viewers who are watching? Uh, Merry Christmas to everyone and thanks for supporting Christmas Daddies today. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much for being thank here you. as well. Thanks. Now I believe we're going to go to Prince Edward Island. How's she going there, boy? It's Jimmy the Janitor here at the Confederation Center of the Arts in Charlottetown, PEI. Good to have you watching Christmas Daddies. Got a great group coming up, a big group, 49 of them. They're a choir that perform at festivals and for seniors and at the school. They performed uh, provincially and uh, nationally and done very well. They are grade five and sixers under the direction of Nancy Thornton Smith. Uh, they are the Spring Park Elementary School Christmas choir, and they're going to sing Merry Christmas to all.
Oh, that brings bring back brings back memories of being in choir. Lovely music from Prince Edward Island. Now, for 12 years, Ravensburg College has been raising money for Christmas Daddies. So we have some students from the college here right now. We're going to tell us how they've raised money this year. We have Sarah Jackson next to me, Mackenzie Corkum next to her, Megan McClellan next to her, and Alex Van Russell at the end there. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. And how do you raise the money for Christmas Daddies? What happens? We did a coin drive this year, so we went around downtown Halifax and uh, got some donations. Yeah, you hit the streets, right? What is it like to hit the streets? Please tell me you had good weather. Oh, it was good. Yeah, it was cold, <laughs> but it was all worth it. Okay, good, because I hate to think of you freezing out in like minus 20 temperatures. Yeah. We had one of those days, but hopefully it wasn't too bad. And hopefully people were in a giving mood. Uh, yeah, we definitely were. We raised... Uh, $3,400. Let's see, yeah. $3,400 just from hitting the streets of Halifax. Thank you so much. No problem. It Always. was awesome. It and you are awesome. You guys are all awesome giving back to Christmas Daddy's Ravensburg College for 12 years. Let's go over to Kaylin Mitchell now. Thank you, Heidi. And I'm back here with longtime supporters of Christmas Daddies. This is another group from Michelin and representing the Waterville, Waterville factory in the Annapolis Valley for Michelin this year is the Mead family. So we'll go around and get them to introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Caitlin and I'm eight years old. It's fantastic. Thank you for being here, Caitlin. George Mead, work at C3, which is the Waterville plant. Hi, and I'm Lynette Mead and this is James Mead. <laughs> James has been a real trooper today. He's been holding in there tough while well, we've been waiting for this moment. So what does supporting Christmas Daddies mean for Michelin? We uh, recycle our bottles throughout the plant through all the vending machines and that, and we've accumulated a grand total of $3,500. And there's a the check flip right there. Excellent job, Caitlin. $3,500, $3,500, and all of that from collecting cans and recycling. Collecting cans, water bottles, pop bottles, all throughout the plant. It's just a great way for us to show our appreciation for Christmas Daddies as well. And support for Michelin has become somewhat of a Christmas tradition now for the it company, has. hasn't it? It has. Michelin is big with the tradition of community as well as Nova Scotia as a whole with our three plants. And of course, we thank you very much for that. It's fantastic. $3,500 again from the Waterfill plant from Michelin. Thank you so much. There we go. All right, now I'm here with the folks from Wrap and Gifts in its fifth season now. I'm always excited to have Michael Harding and Jay Perrier here, along with Brandy and Abel, who's three years old now. I feel like we've watched Abel grow up through the whole Wrap and Gifts process, haven't we, Michael? I think you have, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Pretty much have. Now, Wrap and Gifts is great. You hold three events this year is what you did to raise four, money. Four, oh, four, four. Yeah, four oh, you held four events this yeah. year to raise money for Christmas Daddies. How would you describe what Wrap and Gifts is? Uh, Wrap and Gifts is the entire hip hop community in the Maritime Provinces coming together to raise money for this for Christmas Daddies. Yeah, doing awesome shows like in places like well, Sydney had a snowstorm. Sydney, we had a snowstorm. We still made it. Still it was still it. a good time. Uh, Halifax, we went to New Brunswick this year, as well as Truro, which was our first time there, too. So. so great. Always a great show. I follow it on Facebook when these things are happening. Uh, and you guys have great merch, too, wrap and gifts. Uh, I, got, I got to score one of the hats one of these years. Definitely. And we got to give a big shout out to Fresh Prince Apparel. They do the shirts every year, and they do an amazing job. Yeah, so thank no. you. Who else uh, would you like to give a shout out to? Because I know there's a lot of people that go into making wrap and gifts happen. Always. So. Um, we'd like to shout out all the venues, so the Carlton here in Halifax, Dukes in Cape Breton, uh, the Hub in New Brunswick, and Julia's Lounge in Truro, and some of the uh, donators for prizes, um, like the Klansman Motel, Ayers Gourmet Pizza, Ratchford Photographic, and we partnered this year for the Truro Show with Heart of the East Promotions, so thank you, all of you, for your help this year. The hip-hop community of the Maritimes, given back to Christmas Daddy. So, let's see the results from Season 5 of Wrap and Gifts. Turn that over, Jay. Yeah, three thousand one hundred and ten dollars. Yeah, nicely done. Very successful shows. We're hoping to do it bigger and better next year too. Oh, you guys are always doing it bigger and better. That's for sure. Just don't get me rapping. That won't help you at all. Me either. <laughs> leave the promotions up to you thank and the wrapping up to Jay. <laughs> All right, thanks you guys. Thank wrapping you, gifts, you can check them out on Facebook too, uh, so that when the next edition, season six, comes around, you can get involved and pitch in. Let's go now to Steve. That is amazing. $3,100, that nicely wraps that up. And uh, we're just over here about ready to wrap up the auction totals. As you can see, Laura and Carmela are piling through the final bids now. The bids are now closed, so we're going through all of the bids that have been uh, received and verified as of 4.45 this afternoon. That includes 
includes all the phone bids, the online bids, and the in-studio bids. So all of the items are now sold. That doesn't mean you cannot contribute. Isn't that right, Mr. Scrooge? I mean, people Absolutely. should pick up the phone and call, shouldn't they, Mr. Scrooge? Uh, with the numbers I've been seeing, yes, they should uh, pick up the phone. Dartmouth? I can see uh, the efforts here are not going without uh, results. They're not going without results. And I can't believe I just that said that. That sounds like a double negative. It's a triple negative in well, my Well, if books. you have add you to it and you get a triple negative. Yeah. That's want to right. borrow my hat? Uh, no, no thanks. Okay. No, but I, I do think that you are softening up in your old age. I've noticed that you're not nearly as bitter as you used to be. Well, um... I think it's uh, that little wooden marionette. Dairy, the dairy, I think I think dairy we found I think we found your alter ego, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. He's been worried for most of the day that this is in fact a voodoo doll, <laughs> and that uh, he was very very afraid of what would happen. I'm glad to see no pins, no needles. That, well, that's exactly right. You've been needling people around here <laughs> long enough, and you've yeah. also been hanging around here long enough. You've been. And you've also had us on a string <laughs> for long enough. You've been controlling my ropes since day one. You've been, you've been pulling our ropes here for a long time. Yeah. At any rate, thank you very much. Uh, the lines are open now, 844-400-1964. Here are some of the people who made it possible for us to bring you the Christmas Daddies today. The 55th Annual Christmas Daddies Telethon is proudly produced by CTV Atlantic employees, their families, friends, and volunteers, with assistance from our corporate community. Thanks to Bella Lyant and the Pioneer Volunteers, our website developer is Nikom IT Solutions. Air Canada Foundation donated two tickets anywhere in North America. Thanks to Delta Hotels by Marriott Beausjour in Moncton. Volunteer vehicles were supplied by Discount Car and Truck Rentals. Tim Hortons donated refreshments, as did our friends at Subway Restaurants. Storage was provided by Maritime Moving and Storage. Scent decoration was provided by Jordan's Home Furnishings, Giant Tiger, and Lego Creative in Moncton. Thanks to Advanced Screen Printing Limited for crew clothing. Technical assistance was provided by FMAV and Sonic Image. Musical equipment provided by Long and McQuaid. Additional supplies provided by McFarland's. Christmas Daddies would not be possible without CTV's generous donation of airtime, facilities, and support to the telethon all year round.